Hello my friends, in this video we are going to see about our matron. So are you all thinking about what is a big deal about cows? In our daily life we use products given from our sacred domestic animal the cows such as ghee, butter, cheese, leather, milk, milkshakes, ice cream, chocolates etc. If any one of us have not used the mentioned products then definitely we are God's saviors. For human needs the utmost utilized and burden driven domestic animal is none other than our matron. Generally we all have a question why does human race totally rely on cows for milk and not on other sources like lion, donkey, elephant etc. It's because by nature only our matron called cows or cattle produce large quantities of milk to their calves. In today's situation motherhood is not able to lactate sufficient amount of milk to their children. 90% of the newborns rely only on cow's milk or milk powders produced from cow's milk. Are we drinking milk or committing a sin? Let's see. In urban and rural areas, the dairy farmers make use of the cows only for milk and let them roam around in search of food on streets and roads. Cattle starts to starve for their appetite and finally they start consuming garbage, polythene and even plastic bags. In India, more than 1000 cows die due to plastic consumption in a year. Cows have given milk for us but in return we have provided polythene. In spite of Supreme Court's order, we still use plastic and when consumed by cattle they die and our whole environment gets shaken up. We are not letting the cows to complete their lifespan and attain a natural death. Once the period of cow to lactate milk gets over, immediately they are cut for their meat purposes. Very less oxes are being used for transport and agricultural purposes. 95% of the oxes are being killed for their meat at the early stage of their life. At present, food adulteration has claimed its root for cattle feed also. Cattle are being induced with oxytocin injection which catalyzes their hormones for milk production. Human race had gone to an extent that they don't even let the cows to breed. At current situation, breeding happens only through artificial insemination. Ox sperms are being exported from India. Other country Jersey cows are being imported. Can you just believe huge machineries being used to extract milk from cows? Once cattle fed only on natural food like maize, grass, paddy straws containing natural immunity boosting substances. So drug, urine was used at home for sanitation purposes. But now because of plastic consumption, cattle dung create a stinking smelling sensation. But still we Indians have a pride as we rank first to produce milk in the world. 25% of the whole milk production in the world is from India, which means 186 million tons of milk is being produced in a year. From head to toe, we human harass the cows. We tie nose rope, shoe by ladam, and at last for meat and for leather. World's highest consumed meat would be cattle feed, otherwise called as beef. Sarcastically, we also say beef contains richest protein source. Let's see some facts. India records second 
for the biggest exports of beef in the world, which is nearly 1.4 million metric ton beef is being exported. There is a large connection between beef production and environmental change. Statistics states consuming 100 grams of protein from beef equalizes to the same amount of carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, greenhouse gases being emitted into the atmosphere. Now we come to understand better. Naturally dyed cattle being buried into the soil enriches the soil yielding increased crop production. This type of crop production yields more profit than beef production. Biogas is taken from cow's dung and it contains methane which is largely being used for electricity in villages. But awareness about biogas is very less among our people. Dogs are considered to be the best friend for our owner. Meanwhile, cattle is our life saviour for human race. But cows and ox are being killed for their meat. But still until their last breath, they are grateful to us by giving us a protective curve. The moose sound from the cow should impact affection towards them rather than cruelty. Human race depend on cow's milk till their last breath. That's why we genuinely call our cows our second mother. After all cruelty being imposed on the cattle, the beef that we consume or the milk, does it get categorized under vegan or non-vegan? Milk we consume is vegan, but what we imposed on cows is a nightmare. We celebrate Matupungal for the endless gifts given to us by the cattle. Let's stop cruelty against them. Jesus was born in a cow shed. Lord Krishna was rearing cows. Lord Shiva's pet was ox. But all this happens only on God's perspective. But we humans had used cows very cruelly and had abandoned their growth, sexual life, food, rights to live and so on. At least from now, let's stop committing a sin. I hope my dear friends, this video had covered the importance of our second mother and we should all abide to protect her. You all are most welcome to post your views in the comment section. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, share across and subscribe our channel. Thank you.